What is up guys, last day in New York is today. A uh, few things to do before we leave town, but right now, I need to get coffee. Yesterday was a really busy day and I didn't get a chance to actually edit a video, but I want to talk about some of the things that I did yesterday because it's kind of why I came up here. So what I can tell you is this, um, the group that brought me up is called StoryCorps. And if you're not familiar with StoryCorps, they're an organization that basically collect and archive stories of people. And they are doing, they do a lot of work with NPR if you're in the US, National Public Radio. And they do a really nice job at what they do. And I was really flattered because they um, typically have done audio and radio programs. They have a YouTube channel, and a lot of the stuff that's in the YouTube channel is excerpts from radio, and they've done animations over the top, but they want to move into doing some video work. So they're working with YouTube, and that's why I got the call. They asked me to invite a friend uh, that I thought would be appropriate. They gave me a little brief about what the interview was, and I picked Alexei Tedorenko. Right on time. <laughs> Good to see you. We did the Artist Series video together last year, and if you guys haven't seen that, I'll link that in the show description. And Alexi is, I think, one of the more brilliant photographers working today. Um, I'm very proud that we're friends. He's a great guy, and I really appreciate him coming to do this. Now, the cool thing about it is now that we've known each other for a year and we've had further discussions, this was probably a more in-depth interview into the way he thinks and a lot of his thought process than what the Artist Series interview was even even though I think that was really good. And this was more of a conversation between the two of us. And we talked about a lot of the cultural differences that we have, but also from a photography standpoint, from an art standpoint, how those things end up bringing us together. Anyway, it's a great interview. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I will keep you posted. Also yesterday, we did a meetup and I apologize that it was last minute notice. It was still very well attended. We had about 15 people there. And really one of the cool things about this meetup is that this was more of a art of photography family reunion because a lot of the people were at the last meetup or have been to previous meetups. And it's really cool that I've done enough of these over the years to where I know people that come. And so I wanna thank everybody for coming last night. It was not an easy night to come out. It's not super cold here, but it is cold and it was pouring rain. But I want to thank everybody who came out last night because it really was a lot of fun. My flight does not leave until 6 o'clock tonight, so there's still plenty of time to do something cool. First thing I need to do is pack all my stuff up, say goodbye to the Trinity Hotel, and then we'll be on our way. When in Rome, you go to K&M, and you ask for Don, who apparently I made famous on the last video. Hey, you know, everybody comes in and asks for me all the time. What am I supposed to do? But well, I'll they need to know your name, yeah, so that's that. important. And I'll this try to find you stuff. They need to. I'll, I'll try to find stuff for people that's really hard he is. to find. He's looking, he's looking up for some uh, you stuff know, for me now. And that's the main cool. thing, is like, and I really appreciate all these old cameras, because I shoot with a 1935 crown, you know? So Seriously, all kidding aside, Don has been around forever. He knows everybody. He will tell you that, too, when, he, when you're in here. And Don Jay guy. from PhotoCare and Fred Blake and I all started in the same store 40 years ago in North Brunswick, New Jersey. Get out, really? No kidding. Um, we so worked you're not there. that old. Were you six? I'm 61 right now, nah. trust me. So I was 21 years old. I was in school and I was working at a camera store. And Don Jay told me all the most important things to ask customers, are you being helped or skiffly ignored? 
know, <laughs> questions are free, answers cost money. So, hey. you know, I, I actually hit him up the other day and he didn't even remember they used to say that. You know, are you being helped or skillfully ignored? I think it was perfect. See, I, I, need to, I need more funding for my show just so I can have Don on as a character that reoccurs like once a month, I think. Well, once a week. We can talk about it. We'll I'm actually try, we're trying to do something like that anyway, but we can talk about all it. Right, you right, can, you right. can, you're like the Lewis Black to his John Stewart. There we go. <laughs> Paul, Mr. Ip, and my buddy Dave, the one and only Dave Bias, <laughs> who I've had on the show before. And we're going to talk Hello. business later. And soon there will be news, right? Soon there will be news. Soon there will be news. Yes.